Hi, I'm Derek and welcome to another video of my new series Being Creative with Drumbox. And today I want to share an idea with you which is again from the great John Riley from the book the Jazz Drummers Workshop. And it's from the chapter Basic Training and it's the second part, so it's called Basic Training 2. And now I will explain to you what the basic structure is of this exercise and then I will tell you my little bit creative idea how I work with this material, okay? So this idea from John Riley is about playing different strokes like the full down tap and up stroke in different parallel stickings and in basic training uh, chapter 2 you play a single paradiddle so right left right right left right left left you play over triplets so you have a kind of cross rhythm okay and this is how it sounds when I play the single paradiddle over triplets without any accents at tempo 60. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. After two bars of triplets, then you start from the beginning with your right hand. Now we are accenting all quarter notes, so one, two, three, four, and also the same thing in the second bar. And now it gets more and more difficult. You have to pay attention where to play downstroke, upstroke, full stroke, tap strokes, okay? And I will play this for you very slowly, and then you will see and listen how it sounds. So the tempo is quarter notes 40. One, two, three, four. One. So what you've heard is triplets with the quarter notes accented, but with this special sticking, so the single paradiddle played in triplets makes it a lot more difficult, okay? So this is the basic idea from John Riley's book and you have uh, 11 more accent patterns where you can play different accents over this paradiddle sticking, but now Let's move on with my small idea how to be creative with this. And this brings us to the whole drum set. So what I'm doing is to orchestrate the accents around the drums. And the first basic orchestration would be to play the right hand accents on the floor tom and the left hand accents on the small tom and the rest stays on the snare drum, okay? Let's see and hear how it sounds. So let's speed it up and play it at tempo 120 beats. Let's bring it up to speed 170 BPM. So 
So this is, in my opinion, very difficult, but it will train your reflexes, okay? It's a very easy accent pattern, but with the sticking, you have to slow down, speed up, and um, yeah, it's for me still hard work. Let's see how the next basic or standard orchestration sounds. So we are moving the accents to the cymbals and play the cymbals together or in unison with the bass drum. Let's start slowly again. So let's start with tempo 60 beats per minute. Of course, the next step would be speed this orchestration up or increase the tempo, okay? When you can play both orchestrations, start to come up with your own, I say in the beginning, fix orchestrations. For example, you play all the accents played with the right hand here on the right cymbal and maybe the left hand accents here on the small tom or on the snare drum and then be creative orchestrating the accents around the drum set. But now I will show you the last step and the last step is to improvise. And this means that you improvise the orchestration, okay? So you stay, of course, with this sticking and this accent pattern, but you orchestrate or you improvise the orchestration, okay? So just be spontaneous and I will start in a slower tempo and let's see what happens. Okay, again 60 BPM. Let's try 100 BPM. One hundred forty BPM. on and on. The sky is the limit of course, okay? And um, this is again very helpful to train the reflexes, okay? To speed up and slow down but you have to stay in the rhythm so the triplets and with the accents. And of course you can play one bar of a groove in front and let's think of 16th note triplet, so you play a one bar fill in. Of course you can play two bars of a triplet feel uh, groove like a shuffle or 6-8 and then you can combine both. Let's try a groove in front and then this improvised approach as a drum fill in. So you've heard it, I'm still working on this material. And this brings me to the other new YouTube series I'm doing here is work in progress. So I'm sharing ideas with this drum book, uh, creative drum book exercises and just share them with you and that you have also 
uh, some ideas how you can work with different materials, come up with your own combinations of methods or your own rhythms and what you've heard and here and there and then you're creating your own exercises. So let me know what you think about this application or orchestration, this exercise and um, yeah, then have a nice summer and see you next time. Bye!